when they school in Ghana as a Nigerian, they know that the value of the certificate you are holding, it's your doing, meaning you fight for it, meaning you work for it. No lecturer actually selects with you or no lecturer actually collected money from you to give you this. Hey guys, welcome back to another banging video. It's me, your barista, AJ. So today, based on the topic below, you know what we're coming to talk about here. I know, I just want to share my experience on the country I've gone so far. I've been to Ivy Coast, currently in Ivy Coast, um, Ghana, Nigeria, and then Togo. So I just want to be sharing my experience based on how I've stayed there or the things you need to know when moving to this country, yeah, this country that I'm talking about. So today we are on Ghana and Nigeria. Yes, if you know, if you have been on YouTube for a long time and then you've been watching content creators from Nigeria, you could see that most of the content creators from Nigeria do talk about Ghana a lot. Yes, a lot, which I don't understand why they could talk about their country and then tell us more about what we should feel when you go to their country but they prefer talking about Ghana okay let's see why they say Nigerian people feel jealous of Ghanaians to me I know yes they feel jealous of Ghanaians because of these things that I'll be mentioning so guys please and please in this video I would just like you to give this video a thumbs up what it means by a thumbs up is just to like this video when you like this video YouTube is going to recommend it to other people to watch knowing that this video is a good video as well so today we're gonna to be talking about why Nigerian feel jealous of we Ghanaians yes why one of them is our educational system when you come to Ghana in West African country people really believe in us they believe in our educational system because they know that if you don't have money to send your children abroad and then you bring your children to Ghana the educational system they are going to receive in Europe or is kind of aligned to that of we Ghanaians so they just want to bring their kids here and also you know in other countries like Nigeria I'm talking about Nigeria over here they have a lot of strike going on over there Ghana too we have a strike going on right now but we can't compare it to that of Nigerian Nigerian if you are a new student sometimes seeing your tutors or seeing your lecturers is so so difficult each and every day they are complaining about their governments not paying them and then they won't come to class to come and teach you if this is true and you're an Nigerian watching this how far is it let me know in the comment section below yes and also they feel like when you study or when you school in Ghana as a Nigerian they know that the value of the certificate you are holding it's your doing meaning you fight for it meaning you wait for it no lecturer actually selects with you or no lecturer actually collected money from you to give you this certificate or to give you the thing like what you deserve but in Nigeria they feel like when you get a first class or you get a second class upper or second class lower you actually select with the lecturer that's their concept so that's where most um, mom or most parents will allow their kids to come to school in Ghana because of all this and they want fame you know when you leave country like Nigeria and then you go to Ghana and then you school in Ghana people actually respect you they know that you're coming from this country I mean how far that's so nice and your parents have money so all this notion to is part and also safety you know some part of Nigeria is not safe at all when you go to the northern part they're talking about program over there and imagine if 
a country is not safe as a student or as a people how will you feel i mean how will you feel like living there you won't feel safe you won't feel at ease you won't feel at peace you want a country whereby everything is moving on smoothly and then you have your freedom of worship your freedom to do anything so that's why most nigerians feel jealous of we Ghanaians because we don't have this kind of things in our country yes so government please keep doing this we want democracy as you said we are a democratic country yes we are in a democratic country so let's maintain it freedom of worship freedom of everything yes so the next one the cost of living cost of living yes you know people believe that in ghana our cost of living is quite well it's not expensive but let me tell you who told you that ghana is not expensive ghana is so 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 expensive but i won't say generally ghana is expensive but because some of the some part of ghana is less expensive that's the same thing as nigeria some part of nigeria too is less expensive but you have to know that i think nigeria is more more less expensive than ghana yes if i want to see so nigerians don't think that ghana is less expensive so you are coming to ghana no ghana is not less expensive i just want to say that and also when you talk about job you know we have most graduate students out there in nigeria who are still searching for a job some of them as actual they have actually left school for more than five years ten years and then they are still looking for a job but in Ghana, it's not like we don't also have this unemployment things going on. We do have, but the government has tried to put on some measures to help us. That is trying to um, bring out this uh, program called NAPCO. I think it's a program or something like that. Let me know in the comment section. They are NAPCO, which helps some other um, graduate students to join. And so they pay them at the end of the month. And also unemployment association is also going on. But I think see how Nigerians are trooping in Ghana, like trooping to come to Ghana. I don't think they have this association which help them to get job after school. So that's why most most Nigerians would prefer to come to school in Ghana. And they feel jealous of free Ghanaians because when you come here, imagine you are a student here, a Nigerian student here, and then you complete in Ghana here and you bring that certificate to send it to Nigeria they value Ghana certificates more than their own certificate yes so you are gonna get a job than compared to those who are schooling in Nigeria so that's why most Nigeria will come here and then come and do their own stuff and the job as well the job market People are so choked in Nigeria. You know, Nigeria have a lot of population compared to that of Ghana. We can say Nigeria are actually African. They should be, we should both Nigeria say that they are African on their own. Yes, because they are so, so many. So people coming out of the schools and universities, you know, the government have to provide a lot of job opportunity, which is not there, which is very rare. So that's why most people will come to Ghana and come and search. And hospital, hmm. they feel jealous of, of we Ghanaian because of our hospital. You know, we actually have this NHIS card that when you go to the hospital, you can use this as your insurance whenever you are sick and then you just pay a less money. But that's not the case in Nigeria. In Nigeria, when you are sick, you actually pay more. Yes, you pay. And then if you don't have money, they want to treat you. Please let me know in the comment section whether what I'm saying is actually true or not. Because I know what I'm talking about. Yes, I've done a lot of research. And then I, based on my experience too, yes. And based on what I've heard from my friends and my family, I know that. Mm -hmm. So let me know in the comment section below if what I'm actually saying is true or not. So when it comes to Ghana here, we have NHIS which covered our hospital bill and you just have to pay some money if you have an NHS card. Sometimes you don't even pay, but you just have to pay for your drug. That's all. But in Nigeria, you have to pay for your hospital bill. That's when Nigeria will come to Ghana. And also, investment. You know, 
I'm not saying that people don't, people from other countries don't invest in Nigeria. But looking at how Nigeria used to hype with Ghanaians, most investors would like to come to Ghana because they feel like we are the best. Yes. Because I think as a country, Nigeria as a country on its own, and people in it, you guys are good. Stop stigmatizing your own self. If you want to get a lot of investors, I know you'll be like, you have a lot of investors, but your government are the one taking the money. But do yourself, what have we done to improve your country? Are we trying to own any business? Although even if the business are not going on well, but you just have to seek help from other country to help your businesses to grow. So don't just be stigmatizing your country because investors will not come to your country and then they will not even appear and make sure that your tourist attraction is very very good because one of the reasons why some investors come to um, Ghana is because of a tourist attraction they really like it and they feel comfortable they feel like they're in their house they feel safe as I've said before so that's all that I just want to be talking about today I hope you really like it I don't want to make a long video so if you like or you enjoy this kind of video let me know I'll be doing more of it I'm talking about Ivy Coast versus Togo you know there are two countries that are from a country and in Ghana and then Nigeria there are two that are Anglophone country so like please kindly share and like if you've made it to this point you're my vvip thanks for watching me bye see you next